On the sixth floor of the United Nations Secretariat building in New York are probably the busiest people in the entire matchbox-shaped structure, the reporters who tell the world of the international organization's affairs. I don't know, Fred. There's something going on upstairs. Uh, those troubleshooter types don't want to tell us about it. I know. That astronomer who discovered this spectacular meteor shower headed past Earth had an appointment with Morgan Tracy and Diana Prince of the Crisis Bureau this morning. Since then, there hasn't been a public word from any government official anywhere. That's all I know. That's all anybody knows. It's pretty spooky if you ask me. But two people who do know are Morgan Tracy of the Crisis Bureau and Diana Prince, alias Wonder Woman. There's no indication at all that it's an invasion. These men running the world's governments are afraid of anything unknown. They'd be afraid of their shadows if they weren't attached to them. And this is no laughing matter, Diana. What we thought were meteors are actually spaceships on a direct course for Washington, D.C. All they've got to do is say boo, and the balance of peace around the world could topple for fear of them. Fear. That's the word. Not a love of peace, not need for security. It's blind fear that rules these... Hello, Tracy here. He has. Then the others will follow immediately. Thanks. Well, what is it? It's out of our hands now. The ships have entered the atmosphere, and the President of the United States has authorized an anti-missile barrage to stop them. The Soviet Union and other nuclear powers will probably back up the American defense with their own support. Diana? It might be out of your hands, Morgan, but that makes it the world's problem. And within minutes, leaping off the roof of the United Nations building to land on the invisible wing of the robot plane is the red and gold form of Wonder Woman. as the magnificent solar-powered vehicle begins a dizzying climb into the stratosphere, racing the armed might of the world's greatest nations to disaster. There's a fleet of about six ships heading down and a whole swarm of missiles on the way up. The first one in the last sea. I can defeat it. Yes, the last sea will stretch infinitely. Other bomb in a golden, indestructible cocoon, so it can blow harmlessly. Two of them now, one at each end of the last two, spin them round and round. Here, I hope me fling these flying death heads clear. One after the other, Wonder Woman deflects and diffuses and contains the explosions of the destruction-carrying tubes that soar up at the approaching ships, until not one weapon is left. And on the lawn surrounding the Washington Monument in the capital city of the United States, the robot plane accompanies six magnificent ships to a soft landing. It is not long before a crowd of people gravitate to the lawn as Wonder Woman looks on. As if at a signal, when members of the news media arrive, six entry hatches to six spacecraft open. And... We come in peace. We call ourselves the Psy Women, and we reign supreme on the world of Regulus Four. The news hits the world like a wave of rolling thunder, and within a week... This is Patsy Keene for WRRB-TV. Thousands of women cheered Lyra, leader of the Psy Women today, when she spoke at Madison Square Garden. Lyra espoused the Psy Women's philosophy of the superiority of women to men in all ways, saying that if women ruled Earth, then their ships would never have been attacked out of mindless fear. They say that on their planet, men are slaves who walk on all fours, something hardly likely to happen here on Earth. Sometime later in the skies above the city, Wonder Woman seeks out the leader of the Psy Women. Psy Women's command ship directly ahead, robot plane slow to rendezvous with ship and hover. And Wonder Woman's plane soon makes contact with the alien craft. Lyra! Lyra! Come out of the ship immediately. This is Wonder Woman and this is an order. Come aboard, sister. Why do I detect anger in your voice? You don't know? Don't you monitor Earth television? 
Haven't you seen what's been happening in the weeks your ships have been hovering over our world? Do you know what's happened to our men? Your men have simply begun to take their proper place in your society. It is a gift from the enlightened civilization of Regulus IV. A gift? Turn on that television monitor and look at this gift. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Look at that, Lyra. The President down on his knees as he crawls to the podium behind his wife. Now look, he's sitting up on his hind legs as his wife addresses the press. Ladies of the press, because of the effects the bizarre events of these past weeks have had on our economy, the President and I have decided... <coughs> I thought you were an Amazon, Wonder Woman, not a slave. I see you will no longer be welcome in our ships. You are dismissed. Get that hand off me, or I'll take it home as a souvenir. Don't do anything. Oh! Not even the women of my own world are permitted to lay a hand on Lyra. You will have to be corrected. I should have you killed, Wonder Woman. It is only your ignorance that keeps me from doing so. I'll leave now, but if you continue to spread this noxious philosophy of yours, you can swear by Hera. I shall be back. Oh! You, you there in my plane, who are you? For Athena's sake, get up off your knees. I can't get off my knees, Wonder Woman. This isn't natural, you see. It's a disease. I'm a Psy Man from Regulus 4. Please take me away from here. If they know I even talk to you, they'll certainly torture me. I didn't know the Psy Women brought any of their men along, and I suspected this all fours business was some kind of disease of theirs. What's the story? The story is a terrible one of sickness and pestilence. The horrible affliction that affects only men. An affliction the women of my world have brought to yours. Don't be afraid. Tell me. Generations ago, men were dominant on my world. Even more so than on Earth. Then, the germ hit. Within weeks, all men were dropped to the posture of dogs. It fell to the women until a cure was found to take over the dominant role. And there is a cure. What is it? That's what is so horrible. When Regulus Four scientists found a cure, a vote was taken among the women and they decided to suppress it. We understand now that the women were downtrodden so long that they could not bring themselves to give up the world's rule. They decided to roam the galaxy for human populated planets, bringing the disease germ with them. Earth is their first target, and the dozens of men who came along with them are kept hidden, serving only as servants like me. Well, there's just a chance we can put an end to this injustice once and for all. What are you doing? Landing on the water? The island is over there. That's Paradise Island, where no man can set foot. But if you will cooperate, Amazon scientists will be able to use this plane as a floating medical laboratory while they analyze your blood and try to find a cure for the disease. A cure? I would do anything for a cure. Afternoon wears on tonight, and night gives way to the rays of morning light as the finest medical minds the Amazon civilization has produced shuttle back and forth to the robot plane floating off the coast of Paradise Island until... Well, what have you got, Penelope? With Minerva's help, I think I've found a serum that should reverse the effects of the disease, but it would be a great risk without further testing. With further testing, time would pass. I would be found and punished for leaving. Please, let me be the test case. And just hours later, the time comes for Lyra and her sisters from Regulus Four to say farewell to the planet Earth from the lawn in front of the Washington Monument where they first appeared. New rulers of the planet, we have left you our enlightened ways and a chance to remake your society according to a better order. We of Regulus Four bid you... That noise? What is that disorder inside my ship? What is that? We're free! We're, We're free. free! We're free! The Psymen, walking on two feet, rebelling. Stop them, sisters! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Peace. Let there be peace here. Wonder Woman, our savior. I might have known you would somehow be responsible for this travesty, renegade female. Lyra, Psy women, Psy men, people of Earth. My Amazon sisters found a cure for the disease that makes men submissive to women. Because for women to come into their own that way would defeat the very meaning of sisterhood. Boo! Oh, my God! Listen to me, let me speak. I saturated the atmosphere of the Earth with the disease cure in gaseous form using my robot plane. Because it is not dominance, one group over the other group, for which both women and men must strive, it doesn't matter which of us is toughest, we must all be given a chance to be equals. Wonder Woman is right. We have a chance when we return to Regulus 4 to go back as equals for the first time in our history. Men and women of all worlds are different, and for that reason, need each other desperately. Let us take this chance, and surely we will profit from it. That goes here on Earth, too. Hooray for Wonder Woman!